stampers welcome to the craft room when I posted my video on heat embossing on tiles to make tile magnets I received a question from Mel Reilly on YouTube asking can you heat emboss on a glass picture frame so I wanted to create a quick video to share my thoughts about that in order to play with that idea I actually took a glass slide um, that way I, I would practice on something that was less expensive than a glass picture frame and did a little bit of practicing and want to share with you what I learned. The first and most important thing I think if you're going to try to emboss on glass is to really make friends with your embossing buddy. Your embossing buddy has some kind of powder in it. It might be cornstarch, but it's something that does a great job of eliminating static and moisture. And when it comes to embossing or heat embossing on glass, static is going to be your biggest issue. So I found that if I was not very generous with the embossing buddy, that I had all kinds of embossing powder that would not come off the glass. And when I tried to use something like a paintbrush to try to remove the excess embossing powder before heat embossing, I found that that just created more static. So. Um, what you really need to do is make sure that you're incredibly generous with your embossing buddy. So I'm going to do this on this side of this slide. So you really want to almost pounce your embossing buddy, which releases the powder. It's kind of hard to see, but if you can visibly see the powder, I think you're a lot better off than if you just kind of swipe once and can't really see the powder. So you want to be very, very generous then you should be good to go. So we're just going to use our Versamark stamp pad and I'm going to use this owl stamp from the furry folk stamp set and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp down. The other thing you need to watch on glass is that glass is a very slick surface so when you stamp you have to be careful that you're not moving your rubber stamp around and smudging your image. So once you have your image stamped in Versamark I'm going to take black embossing powder since I thought that would be the easiest for you to see. You're going to go ahead and put that embossing powder onto your glass and tap off. And you can see, since I have it here against a pink background, that we did a really good job with the embossing buddy because really very, very little excess grains of embossing powder stuck to the slide. If you aren't generous, you're going to find that it's going to look like you have scattered embossing powder all over the slide. If you do have a little bit, what I found to be useful is to actually blow on the glass very, very hard with your breath. So you want to go really, really hard with your breath and that should remove any of those excess little pieces. Again, coming in with a paintbrush to try to remove the excess, I find just creates additional static, which is not what you want when it comes to embossing. So the next thing we want to do is just heat emboss that with our heat tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that worked great. The other thing you want to be sensitive to when it comes to glass is that glass conducts heat pretty seriously. So you want to make sure that you let this cool a little bit before you go picking it up because that glass slide will be hot. So I would say to Mel really that yes, you can heat emboss on a glass picture frame. You might want to practice a little bit on something that's not as precious as your picture frame. So some broken pieces of glass that you might have lying around so that you can get the technique down because once you heat emboss on your glass it's going to be incredibly difficult to remove it. I'm actually not sure how you would remove the embossing if for some reason um, you don't do it well the first time around. So I would suggest practicing on a little scrap of glass. And what can you do with this? Well I just want to quickly share with you this little necklace that I made. I took my um, glass embossing um, and I actually cut down the glass and I sandwiched in between two pieces of glass so I had my owl piece on the top and I had a blank piece of glass on the bottom and sandwiched in between a piece of the fl flirtatious designer series paper that I had added some words from a book to so that's the front 
and that's the back. It says, I know her wild ways. And I went ahead and just did a bit of soldering to make that into a necklace. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tip on how to heat emboss on glass. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I hope to see you again very soon here in the craft room.